You know they say perception is reality. Today I want to do a reality check on C and memory and essentially really look at what's going on when you declare variables and when you treat those variables or pointers or whatever as certain types in C. And so without further ado, let's look under the hood. So very soon my students are gonna have a project where they have to take a block of memory that's unstructured and they're gonna to have to add structure to it. So I wanna take you through it. So how does this work? Basically, you're gonna start out with a block of memory. This can be on the heap or on the stack. Let's start out with a void pointer. That way, really, all, all we have at this point is memory. We have 100 bytes, that's 800 little ones and zeros, and we really have no type information at this point. So I can allocate the space, but say I wanna actually store something into the space, now I have to actually give it a type. One option is I could cast the whole thing to a byte array, character array, un8 underscore t, and then whichever byte I wanna modify, I can just access that byte directly. And this works perfectly well, it's fairly simple, it's also really manual. Especially if there's a lot of structure, this may seem a little tedious to you. So if I wanna use other data types, maybe I wanna store an int in this space, then I can simply just cast this pointer to an int, and now my program's going to treat that memory as though it were an integer, and so then I can just write an int into that space. And I can do the same thing with a struct, and it's really the same, and all I'm doing is telling my program to treat that memory in a particular way, as though it had a particular type or a particular structure. The main thing that I wanna get across today is that sometimes students get a little bit confused, and they get thinking that somehow this memory is actually has a type tied to it. In reality, the most important thing, the big thing that I wanna point out, and I'm showing it here in GDB when I, when I look at the memory, is that they're all bytes, they're all bits. These are all just ones and zeros. When we're working in C, there's nothing in this memory that actually says this is a int or a struct or a character. It's just memory. It's just ones and zeros. The only thing that gives that memory type is when we actually cast the, the pointer or when we, we tell our program to treat that memory as though it had a particular structure. And you can see, when you look at the memory in GDB, you can see that it treated those bytes as though it had a particular structure. You can see the individual characters, you can see the ints, you can see the struct. You can see each of these pieces represented in the memory, but it's all just ones and zeros. And I can tell my program to interpret those ones and zeros to be any type I want. I may get nonsense results if I don't use those types sensibly, but the point is, is that I can, I can reinterpret them any way I please. So if you're in this situation where you have binary data that you're trying to interpret in different ways, also you wanna make sure you keep your hex editor handy. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I have a previous video about using a hex editor to help with binary data, it's very, very handy. But otherwise, the main point is just to remember that it's all just memory. It's all just bytes, it's all just bits. There's nothing special about those bytes. It's just how we choose to interpret them. So that's all I have for you today. It's short, I hope it's helpful, and until next time, I'll see you later. Thank you.